to have to grapple with. And I will tell you this, and I, I correct me if I'm wrong here. I, when I see Moki compete, I see him a very stressed. Mm. He's smiling right now. He's having a good time. Like I'm seeing him happy. You know, it does kind of worry me. I'm happy. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? No. You're like, you're like, As, he's not. You're like, no. I just see a frown on <laughs> my boy. Like, but, what the? Fuck? Moki is a player who thrives under pressure, and you can see that in the results of these previous sets, right? These guys always have nail biter, down to the wire, roller coaster sets. And I, I know there was one at Arkham Melee last year uh, where uh, Moki got eight stocks games three and four. Oh my god! And then one game five. <laughs> and so you do not know what is going to come up in the sets between these two players. Yeah, and an untraditional start. Final destination in this matchup is so... Oh, Joe Jump. Oh, okay, great SCI though. <laughs> Dead! <laughs> yeah, no, Moki has, has told me that he, he says, you know, that he's, both these guys have great reactions, really tactical players. And, uh, but I don't think that this really favors either one of them, right? And so he's down to just go for it. Both these guys are relentless in their punish game. Finally dropped the chain grab here. One of the interesting things, you know, you talk about Moki's perspective on the matchup. Uh, speaking with Aklo, Aklo said for a while he thought this was one of his best matchups. And then as recently as Eggdog said that he feels like behind on the meta. He felt like his defensive playstyle was working really well. And now uh, Foxes are trying to like force scrappy situations. So. All of that said, going on to FD, we're kind of like losing the scrap means like losing your stock. Kind of an interesting first pick. Yeah, I, I think that it's it's just you know there are there it must just be like a happy medium, right? Both these guys banned a couple things. Like it makes me wonder where Aklo is scared of going. Like is he worried about the small spaces? Like was this the best he could do? Maybe Yoshi's fountain were just too much. But getting oh. Aklo off stage. Oh, what a shine! Curtis's edge guards in this matchup are, I, I think, maybe the best in the world. He is vicious on the punish. No, I mean, the Fox, Matt, the, the Fox Ditto has advanced so much. The punish game is so unreal these days. It's just, it's ruthless. Yeah, it definitely, the whole flow of the match behaves very differently from how it used to. I think a lot of that uh, credit goes honestly to Cody. Like, I feel like Cody has done uh, a lot of innovation. Also, like, players like Sunsei, actually, and Moki. Those guys, I think, kind of really changed some of the pace. But despite all that, Aklo keeping up. Come on. Yeah. Well, well yeah. The, both of these guys are so strong off of the uh, the RTC uh, that that they're both going to be playing for a lot yeah. of knockdowns and then just tech chasing each other to death. You see it right there. CC the get up attack and then just getting a vicious punish, seventy eight percent. And on FD, like one more grab here is going to seal out the stock. Right. Honestly, this matchup kind of reminds. Dead. Me oh, ooh. <laughs> That's. Uh, this matchup kind of reminds me of jousting, right? Everybody's so scared <laughs> to get hit first. They're both just like running, but then playing chicken. It's... <laughs> Wait, this could be the end of game one here. Aklo's RTCs are brutal, and <laughs> oh my god. Actually kind of an absurd punish so far. I feel like, I like that you bring up the reactions. Oh uh, my god, beautiful drill. Back air, close Aklo. it out. One more high angle, no. Uh, really good read from Moki. Oh wow. Yeah, Aklo picking up, picking up really and escaping smart. the ledge. Oh, not what he wants. Okay. All right, high percent. A I anything's going to knock down here and lead to imminent death. I was going to say, we're going to see a Jazz attack uh -oh. pretty soon, but off stage here. Oh, oh my God. the cheater angle! <laughs> Barely missing that up smash, too. Okay. Looking a little All shaky. Right. But, you know, 104, again, things like dash attack, up smash are on the table. Uh, oh. But still very, very, very doable. Need something like a drill to open them up. Uh, dash dance grab, those kind of things are going to be on the table. But building up laser damage to get other options open off the CC. It's one opening right now. Moki needs a oh. one good, solid find in that grab! But Moki's so good at sussing out those holes in the other person's okay. play. Oh, oh my god! Uh, good SCI nice. from Aklo! Oh. One attack! <laughs> right back with another one. As we said, Aklo's defense has oh. been phenomenal there and he is. gets the jab up smash! Getting that knockdown, man. It's such a critical situation in this matchup. More and more Zeagers go on. But getting knocked down by anything? is completely brutal. It's your whole stock. And we I saw mean, we saw right there Aklo's defensive play. He got knocked down, teched it immediately. Moki got knocked down dead. Hmm. He's ready for that defense, and now we're going to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. I wonder if the FD pick was more to kind of like get it out of the way. I, I, I always wonder, like, you know, it's, it's such a extreme polarizing stage that maybe they're like, let's start there, push it back, and then kind of focus on the rest of the platform stages. Now we get neutral. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you heard of this before? I, I haven't seen it in a hot couple minutes. See, if, if I had to bet, he said, Dreamland is big. I know Aklo likes space. And Aklo from New York, no, no way. Battle. No, get the, no get battle. battlefield battle. out of here. And I think Ooh! Oh. Stole that ledge from him. Man, Moki looking, looking frustrated. 
I mean, I think one of the things, you know, I've seen from Aklo is just uh, playing a lot faster and a lot less passive, which makes sense that he's kind of already made some of those adjustments in the ditto. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I loved Aklo did not give him that. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm not scared of you. I'm not rolling in when you want me to. But to Moki's credit, he also didn't take and the bait either. He waited. <laughs> he let the normal getup happen, and he covered it beautifully. No yep. cheater angle that time. Okay, back air or up air? Yeah. Okay. Not uh, overly respecting the SCI potential there. I mean, it, when you're right up inside him with the up air, it's pretty hard. Right up inside him, man. Eh? <laughs> um, and we got our first transformation here onto the in top eight, getting the windmill up. What do you guys think of the windmill? You fans? No. I like it. I, mean, I, think, <laughs> I think the thing. <laughs> okay. I will say the only thing that's like egregiously bad about this stage, in my opinion, is the, the lip. Like, the lip needs to go. I'm telling you, fixed. try playing Peach on a stage where you can't double jump to where they are. <laughs> I've tried playing oh. Peach, period, and it's always messy. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Let's see here. Great C, oh. but Moki still covers it. Yes, it's so Dead. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> did, he jump, did he jump off? Okay, I was right. I was right. Okay. <laughs> uh, not going to hear about that one on Reddit, thank God. Oh, man. No. Uh, I don't, I don't got to see my name in that thread. I don't got to uh. see it. Man, this is neck and neck. Oh, a little invisible shine for the fans. Let's see here, two socks to two, half time in the Midwest. Ooh, great oh. shine though from uh, Aklo. But kind of gets stopped, caught in the drill. Big punish from Moki. Oh. Great, yeah, oh, great CC. What? CC what? But wasn't even ready for his himself. Yeah, he was like, I'm so talented, I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> uh. See, trapped okay. in the corner, Aklo is rolling like a maniac, escapes, but Moki oh. still covers it. What a great connection. Yeah. This is insane. Look, man, Moki's really looking dialed in. Bit of a slow starter as a player. People don't really talk about it, but really picks up momentum as the set goes on. Yeah, thrives. I think and that makes sense given his play style, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of it is like, kind of, does he get the sort of crazy clips? Does he start to feel himself? Oh my god! What we're seeing right now. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> not dead off that good DI on the up tilt. Not gonna kill, so go as high as you want. Okay, but backer. this was kind of the opposite of what the situation we saw last time. Aklo got a chance to turn it around, but Moki <laughs> needs to close the set. <laughs> Light shielding in the corner said, can I get a back throw shot? Can I get a back yeah. throw shot? Can Moki I get a back throw shot? Oh, oh my god. Okay. That's great. Karma. DI. Good angle. Don't give it to him. The lip is back in play. The classic Aklo side be there. Oh Wrapped. my god. This tree. Oh, Love back throw tech chasing. Okay. The knockdown is everything right now, man, and Aklo keeps getting it. These tech chase oh. seven so oh clean. God. Oh my god! Off the backboard, but not going in. Okay, that's uh. it though. We're going to game three. This has been so back and forth already. That was a little scary at the end there, but you know, Moki cleaning up what very scarily could have been a 2 0. No, we saw Aklo activate this RTC mode. The back throws, the tech we go tech chasing him on the on the little roof. That was nuts. And I, I love you, how you see the personality come out, right? Like, Aklo is trying to make the most of that. He's on the ledge. A man who likes to frustrate his opponent. Really Loki, <laughs> Please come by. Fightful as come all hell. Stand. No way am I getting anywhere near you, man. And like you said, Aklo loves space. Where do we end up? On Dreamland. Right. So, I mean, again, Aklo loves messing with his opponent, making his opponent really work for every hit. And, oh, you know, are we gonna Loki, see a man. Ooh. Pretty prone to getting frustrated, so let's see if uh, he can keep his composure here. Do you think that's been a part of the strategy for Aklo, saying frustrate Moki and he's going to start making more and more mistakes? I think that's a, 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 a strategy for most people against Moki and Aklo against most people, so I, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shine! Even in that up, but almost definitely, man. No, that makes sense. I think Curtis's mental has always been one of those factors that played against him. I think, and uh, what do you call it? And Aklo, a player who loves triggering mental. Yeah, I think both of these guys love a, like a gun to their head, under the wire, like, like just pressure serves both of these guys play really well. So I, I love. They love the bomb. Matchup. They love the ticking time bomb. They're yeah, saying they I want to win this set. Yeah, I mean. Oh. oh. Great coverage. All that said, though, I feel like Aklo is looking just a little bit more locked in than uh, Moki is. I feel like a lot of the situations, uh, Aklo is responding a bit quicker and positioning himself a bit better. What? But, oh my uh, God! <laughs> yeah, that was like this is what I'm saying. There's spots where Aklo looks like he knows where he wants to be. Okay, I love that Moki called that out because Aklo has that habit all the time. Just the edge cancel side beat constantly on this stage. It is the Aklo. It is insane how much Aklo finds something new in top eight. That backer sequence was nuts. Batman's got to hold out, though. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. No, Cur Curtis was like, get the clip, get the clip. <laughs> He's like, I love a clip. I don't care where it's coming from. <laughs> you can do it to me sometimes, man. It's good.
He's gonna go in a slip. He changed the uh, changed the skins. Like, look Dude, what I hit. Okay, Aglo's already playing blue. It's JV3. With my head. Like, did Aglo mean to do that air dodge to dive, dodge the side beat? Like, what what yes. even was that? I feel like Moki <laughs> looking a little bit lost, like, like giggling to himself. Focus. But I think ultimately, you know, that's kind of like where Aglo likes to play. Dreamland is kind of one of his stages, I would say. And you know, you said at the beginning, like. Aklo likes the space because we don't want to do Dreamland, but maybe we get FD out of the way. Now, I'm thinking Yoshi's. Oh no, Fountain. Another place a little more constricted. Yeah. No, Mo Moki loves Fountain. He he's a big believer in, in uh, that the scrap is the, the thing that suits yes. him the best, and that you know Fountain Dreams platforms really facilitate. Yeah, right? Fountain Dreams can sometimes even just go FD, where you you have to now scrap. You're on a small stage with no platform to run away from. But Aklo, right. looking like he's going to clean up this stock with those back airs, dead. Uh, yeah, and Moki rolling his eyes again. He's just getting hit so hard by Aklo. Aklo's just playing phenomenal. Like, yeah. th this is actually kind of crazy. No, it really. But, you know the Fox Hitter, this is dead. pretty easy to answer back sometimes. That said, like, Moki can beat any Fox. You know, he, he has kind of played them all. He has taken sets from them all. So, uh, obviously, far from out. I love the back throw. That's kind of one of his staples. Yeah. These but, two have been known for their Fox Ditto prowess. Like, they've both beaten Cody. That's been their big wins to get them into yeah. that top 10, that top 5 caliber. And they're showing it right now. The punish has been absurd. Yeah, but it just always feels Dead. like Moki, like, a little bit behind. But again, he has the explosive litness that I feel like Aklo doesn't have. Um, so, I mean, Aklo's way. been learning it. Aklo, I feel like in his, in this year, this year where he started to look like that second best fox in the world, has been activating this like I'm able to kill off one hit when I need to. Oh, oh, oh Moki reversed uh, it. Oh, Man, just okay. his made it back though. In those situations, is like unparalleled. He, he Moki makes so many oh, such good awareness just off stage. Makes so many bad situations into good ones. I mean, honestly, what, one of the things that I think stands out with, for me with Moki is just how damn good his reactions are. I feel like when we think about reaction-based players, we think about Jamie, we think about Wizrope, but like, I feel like we don't talk enough about how he has like by far the best reactions of any Fox, it feels like. Maybe Cody as well. well but I think and it's not just that his reactions are good, but he's so calm in tense situations. He's so collected. Ooh, the platform's tripping and up. And I, I think that sometimes just not Feeling the pressure to panic and, and do something foolish is what really makes the difference. Also, so back and forth. And honestly. we're going to game five. I'd love to see it. Yeah. These guys, no stranger to playing game five sets with each other. And this one is big here. We are going into a game five, basically determining the second best Fox in the world and who's going to get to continue on in this bracket. Yeah, I mean, ooh, the crowd <laughs> is loving it. We're loving it. This is going back and forth in a big way. Two stocks that match, two stocks previous match. Battlefield. Back we there. got a we're game back, back five in, on in Battlefield? Man. Just a balanced stage. Aklo's home turf, but I mean, anybody who's played a Fox did have spent a lot of time here. My hot take is I don't like this stage. I, I, I actually really, <laughs> I, I, I like, uh, uh, I don't belong in New York, clearly. Insane like, uh, take. I, I honestly, I, I, a lot of matchups. Man, just down to the wire, 1% separating the Foxes here in this game five. Yeah. Look, these guys really taking their time here. Yeah, really look at aware <laughs> of how much every hit matters. This is, uh, they, they're not giving each other anything right now. Look at this. Top platform. Don't come near me. I think uh, Aklo, again, really making Moki work for any kind of Slowing it down, right? Yeah. Like First edge guard attempt, Moki drops it. Yeah, something about <laughs> the way Aklo is playing is like, like where really the, pace setting, right? Yeah. He's totally changed. Like, because my man is running away. <laughs> yeah, oh, he let's, is literally. Let's call a spade a spade. He is taking his time making Moki chase him, but not seeming to matter because he's the man off stage right now. Dead. Losing his first stock. I do also think Moki has proven that he can chase down people and win. Like, that is something that has defined the H-Box sets. So, uh, will this actually work for Aklo? It's kind of hard to say. So far, not really. Well, because, you know, Moki, one of the big things that he's changed the past few years is his discipline in these situations. He knows what people do to try and piss him off. Wow, Moki got that shine out first oh, where Aklo oh, was oh, going for the reversal. Oh. Now Moki's... Back in advantage! Nice short and though, saving Aklo from losing another stock. I do want to also Tech point out that this is what Aklo said he feels like wasn't working in the Fox Ditto. Playing passively, more defensively. So he's opting to do that because that might be what's comfortable, but is that the correct strategy? It doesn't look like it. It might just be a player-to-player -player thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you have to know what gets under your opponent's skin. The thing I've learned is that in a tense game five like this, everything on the line, you revert back to the player you are. Yes, yeah. The game plan is not uh, there. You are saying, this oh. is who I am. Aklo holds the ledge, and we're at two stocks to two. A dead even. All right, Aklo playing some board the yeah. platform. On the platforms, <laughs> not leaving <laughs> them. Smash 64 melee here. 
Oh, man. You know the goal. Frustrate Curtis. Make him a little bit more aggressive. Make him a little more desperate to find an opening. What an up tilt, though. <laughs> oh. I don't know where that up smash, but like... Oh! Oh! Aklo, what an F-Tilt! Okay, good slide off though from Moki. All right, great, great tech back. as well. 3% separating this. This is so close. Down to uh, the wire! Uh, uh, forward smash. Great mix up there. Uh, okay. No one's going to ledge there. You're too afraid. Yeah, but... Oh, oh my oh. god! Gets the weak hit, and this is a, a big tech chase moment. Tech Not going to be enough, Not though. Dead. Again, I feel like the percent awareness hasn't really been there, but... Okay, one more. What a back air. Oh, Not getting the edge cancel. Yeah, doesn't matter though. He thought he would though, right? Like, it's a little slow there as well. Oh. Get up attack actually hits this time too high to CC. He's trying to power shield and just a little bit What on. a oh, jab tech chase! That was bizarre. But right. 130. Oh, oh my god. Great light shield though. Back against the wall. Needs to do the back air oh, itself. Weak the weak hit. Oh. Last right. stock. Last stock. Even Last stock. game. This is anything could end this game now. One opening can determine so much this bracket. Who's going to be the guy to get their next chance as the first new major winner? Oh my God, you do not want up throw, a back forward throw, excuse me, there. Moki first knockdown. Alive. Big shine, counter shine. They're pressing right. down beyond each other, getting the edge, oh, edge guard. Oh, oh, oh my God, but that's oh huge. Oh. Now you're dropping tech chases. This is Hands are shaky. So tense. Okay, great edge cancel though. Again, oh, need to be scouting that out if you're playing against Aklo. Big forward throw. Missing oh, missing chase. it again! Both players are dropping these tech chases. Slop. They're so antsy. Sloppy, sloppy melee. I'll throw back air. Oh. oh my god, a mistake! Aklo's not capitalizing! But it might be oh, He gets it! A heartbreaker. New uh. York's number one continues on in this bracket after a tense game five. That's that's tough, man. Yeah, composure there, uh, kind of tricky on both ends. I feel like both of them playing really, really well. Uh, Got to be frustrating for Moki, but damn, Aklo. That's a big win for Aklo. It's a huge win. That's a big yeah. win for Nouns Esports. Man, I'm a little heartbroken, I'm not going to lie, but hard to be mad about it. Set that down to the wire, man. That was as tense as they get. That is, the, that is, those are the best sets to watch, the hardest sets Just to play, and even harder to lose. Look at how tough this melee was. Aklo, a, a vicious pop off there. Uh, Aklo's not that emotional when he plays. That was a, that, he popped off for that way. I mean, it's hard to not be emotional about that for anybody. Yeah. That is just as as close as a second. Yeah, you could, you could tell it was super tense. I'll say it, the best set to start off a top eight with. It's a great tone to set for the rest of this top eight. Because I think we're going into another Fox ditto. Yeah, and I think what we're going to see in the form yeah. of uh, Josh Man Lucky is going to be very, very different. Um, I feel like 